Happy birthday, 2020, Dave. This is so I don't forget for next year. And happy late birthday for 2019. So today, I'd like to welcome you to my outdoor channel. We're going to go over some uh, methods of lighting fires using magnesium sticks, etc. So take a look at this right here. I've gathered together a few things. And these are, I don't have cotton balls, so we're going to do a little bit of cotton with acetone on it. Will it burn? Well, probably. And this is just my standard striker here. There you go. Boom. And you've got a fire. And that totally won't go out. Definitely not. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm not sure how long that thing will burn. But let's find out. But it does burn hot, and it's probably going to melt my knife. Uh, um, throw some rocks on it. This is funny, because I can't get that to go out until all of that acetone's gone. But shoot, this could burn for, you know, a couple minutes. There. So, we know, acetone burns fabulous. Here's a little bit rubbing of um, alcohol. rubbing alcohol. Notice, I got this file, and uh, this also will cause it to spark. Oh, we did have a flame there. Yep. Oh, it is burning. Didn't flame up as high. It's just harder to tell. It's definitely, you know, a hot enough flame. Yep. And it kind of looks like a candle. A little bit. There you go. And so that one's out. out. Fantastic. Then Notice I was able Vicks. to light both of those just with the striker. Now now of course, the thing that you Vaseline. did, Dave, was the Vaseline. And so a little bit of fluffed cotton on the edge actually is the thing that caught fire. So that's just the pure cotton. And then as it's burning, now it's caught onto some of the petroleum jelly there. And that's now burning as well. So all of those things work. Next, I want to show you this stuff right here, which I picked up at Walmart. It's a fire starter, apparently seen on Shark Tank. This stuff, it says, you know, just put a pile of it like that it looks like and candy. light it up. Don't eat it. Oops. Dad. I hit the pile. See if we can get this going. The answer is no. So, the next thing we need are some shavings of this right here. Now, <clears throat> you can take the file and you can file it off like that. It makes a really fine powder though. It's not that great. You can take the edge though and scrape it. Again, still coming off with some fine powders. If you use the little piece of hacksaw blade um, to do it, it does the same thing in that it all comes out in these little fine stuff. But if you take a knife like this and you use the back of the knife where it has square edges, you can actually scrape these off. If you get a close-up of that, you can see this is fine powdery stuff here and then you get bigger shavings with that. Now using my actual survival knife, I'd like to plug the Buck Knives Ron Hood. This is the punk model. If you use the back of this one, it's a much heftier knife. And again, using the square corner, when you do this one, you get much larger shavings coming off of it. Now, with that, I'm not banging my knuckles against the wood to do it either. Now take a look at what we've got is a pile of large shavings of the magnesium starter. So it looks to me like this little thing is a great striker, 
but not any, it's basically worthless for scraping shavings off of the magnesium bar. <clears throat> and then from here, by the way, yes, you can even use your survival knife just to get these. There we go. Now that magnesium lit, and we've got this pile of fire starter that's burning real well. Now this stuff, it doesn't last as long as you might think, um, but it does work. So I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. And again, happy birthday, Dave.